Colin Carroll has done an interesting study of the religious trends and opinions of young people at the different universities in the United States. This study is now published with the title The New Faithful. So here she is showing how the young generation is coming back to religion and faith. As she travels to different campuses in this country, she comes across a lot of people who are interested in coming back to their religious faith tradition and in exploring the meanings of their faith. Speaking about the young Catholics, she says that Catholic campuses across the country are seeing revivals of rosary recitations and Eucharistic adoration. So these were traditional devotions. Now she finds that it is these devotions that bring young people to the church. So what is needed is some kind of stability in the life of the young people. And that is being supplied by the old traditional devotions. Instead of running away from them, we have to encourage young people to practice, practice these devotions, which will give them a sense of stability. And then she says, Life Teen, a Catholic equivalent started in 1985, hosts more than 700 programs worldwide and an estimated 75,000 teenagers attend Life Teen Masses. So this is a you know, big uh, revelation that young people are now coming in large numbers to become part of Eucharist, the Eucharistic celebration. So she is reminding the Catholic leaders to rethink of the strategies that should be employed in dealing with the young with regard to their practice of their faith. Catholic leaders, she says, in particular should reassess the power and promise of orthodoxy for youth ministry. In an age when worldly values have largely overwhelmed the Catholic identity among the young, orthodoxy accentuates that which is most distinctive about Catholicism, its rituals, tough teachings and traditions. They should foster its growth with a solid catechesis. And they should be sensitive to the creative communal instincts of Orthodox Catholics who are eager to establish such events as praise and worship, Eucharistic adoration sessions, and small group catechism studies in their parish. And I have seen young people now wearing rosaries, carrying rosaries in their hands and practicing that, that rosary devotion in public. That shows how meaningful are the traditions and rituals of the church are for the young people in order to remain solid in their faith, to experience Jesus Christ in their lives. Colin Carroll has done a magnificent work in exploring the these various aspects of lives of the young people and to show how they are being directed and guided by the traditions and rituals of the church.